Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida. Today we've got uh, called out for an irrigation repair that has turned into something that I think would be illegal for me to do, and uh, that's not an exaggeration. So we've got lots of leaking here, all the way up the driveway, and it and somewhere around here. Here's the first thing that's weird is I'm not sure where a water box is. Normally there are water mains that look like this or this and that's where the city shuts water off if you don't pay your bill or if you had a break between the city and your house that's where you turn it off to fix it. The other thing is that uh, at least our municipality they carve letters into the sidewalk so that you know where the water box is without having to see it. But there is no W anywhere along here. So that's the first thing that's weird about this is I cannot find the water main. Um, but the lines to the house are right over here, which you'll see in a little bit, which leads me to believe that it's somewhere here and we just have, have it grown over. Now here's our ground, and we haven't had any rain here locally in a week and a half, two weeks. And when we turn up our mulch, you can see how wet it is there. We're still squishy right here. And then finally we start drying out a little bit here. So our leak seems to be somewhere right here and then it moves down from gravity and it's been doing this for a while. Here's our water shut off to the house right there. And here's our, here's our backflow preventer, which services our irrigation system. Now there's several issues. The first is that legally, since I don't have a landscape license or a plumbing license in, for the state of Florida, I can only do repairs on irrigation systems that have a backflow preventer present. And the reason for that is you don't want somebody who doesn't know what they're doing messing around with the water supply upstream of that backflow preventer because they could contaminate something that might make its way back to the city water supply. Now because of where that leak is, all the way down there, I feel fairly certain saying that the leak is not downstream of the backflow preventer. But since I've got a, the water shut off for the house there and the irrigation system there, the fact that I've got something between here leads me to believe that the leak is between the city and the house, which again legally means that I'm not able to work on it. The other thing is even if I didn't care about the laws, is it really ethical for me to go ahead and possibly endanger the customer or their family or their kids by trying to do a repair upstream of what I'm supposed to and then possibly contaminating their drinking water if it is the house's supply line. That's one part of the issue. The other issue is since this whole area is leaking and wet and damp, you know, I'd have to rip up a good, I don't know, 20 square feet to try and pin down where the leak is really coming from. Now you could just say, well, Brad, why don't you just shut off the water, let everything dry out, turn it back on and you can see where the leak is. Well. That's what we've done with the backflow preventer. I've turned that water off, but the issue is that's only going to help leaks downstream of the backflow preventer, which I don't think this is. So if this leak truly is right here before the shut off to the house and before the shut off to the irrigation, there's no way to turn anything off. I don't know where my shut offs for the city are. I could shut off water from the city to the house, but I don't have any boxes there. So just several things that are making this a really weird job. What I ended up telling the homeowner is that I don't want to seem like I don't want to work or that I don't want to help you. But the simple fact of the matter is based on my experience, it looks like this issue is not something I'm legally able to do. Even if I wanted to do it, I just have to charge by the hour because I can't pinpoint where the leak is. And even after that, there's a chance that, you know, I do something wrong and contaminate your water supply. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So I referred them out to somebody who does irrigation installs, a local company. The fact that they're doing installs means they're supposed to have a license. I don't know if they do. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they have a license. The title of this video, not an exaggeration. This is a job that would be, I can't say with 100% certainty because I don't know where the leak is, but I'd be willing to bet dollars to donuts that this is a job that legally I, I wouldn't be able to do. Now, whether or not, you know, your state or your city has these kind of requirements, I'll never know. You know, this is something you'll have to research for yourself and figure out. Uh, but at least for this instance, this is a job that I just said, 
sorry, I want to help you, but I can't for several reasons, legally, morally, ethically, and uh, practically, and refer them out to a company that hopefully can. Anyways, if you've got any questions, leave them down below. Here's a few more videos you may like. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.